Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in Lands of Zankar with me Mangamad. I hope you are all well, I hope you are all safe and what is this giant shovel behind me? What is this? Now I did promise you uh, last episode or the episode before um, that I was actually opening another, well, kind of shop but it's not a shop. Um, I should explain. Uh, nope, wrong button, not that one, that one, right. Um, this is actually my advert for my labor service. So this is Manga Dig. If you have a forest in the way or a mountain moved or a hole dug, then Manga Dig is the service for you. Contact me for a free no obligation quote. Yes, I am offer offering my services for mass clearance, terraforming, landscaping, anything that needs doing. I supply my own beacons, my own equipment and everything else. Prices are negotiable depending on the side of the job. So that was the other service I had in mind. Uh, while we're here, I may as well check on the shops. Um, I'm getting a. <laughs> I can, I've come pretty much every day, um, like every regular day, not uh, Minecraft day, um, to check the shop. And the Terracotta is one of those shops that like never sells anything. There's just like never anything. There's like a couple of bits that went ages ago. Um, some of these I think I actually took to use for Bill. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But every day I go through the same thing. I go through all of the... Oh! Ooh! We've actually... We've... 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 We've sold terracotta! Woohoo! Oh, uh, face forward, face plant to ground. Yay! Away? Oh, why? Why? Stop doing that. Um, yeah, we've actually sold some terracotta. Okay, cool. That's... Ooh! actually sold more i don't know whether people are just taking pity on me or just doing it to shut me up but <laughs> so whatever it is it's working um yay so we've actually made some sales that's like i know um tenro bought some a little while ago um but yeah that's, that's I'm super happy i've already been over and checked uh no time to grind there's nothing in there haven't been up and checked the potion shop just yet so let's go and have a nose and before we head back and I show you what I'm currently working on. So here's Rincewind. And I, I, um, I think the guys on the stream have seen this, but you guys might not have done. I, can't, I don't think I did this in the last video. Uh, basically, I asked Jalushko to, because um, she's really good with armor stands and things, to like have, um, you know, like books and st or stuff like floating around, proper make it look like a wizard is working here. And she made this cute little spider. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. A, uh, we need to think up a name for him. We need to. We need a name. So you in the comments, come up with a name. Stick it in the comments. Best one wins. And I, I don't know. You'll have my eternal gratitude and friendship. I don't know something. Come up with a name. I'm, I'm not good with naming stuff. Like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got like all the floating bits for potions, and she's managed to put a, a blaze rod that kind of looks like. So he's got like a magic wand, which is really cool. Uh, I've also added a few things as well. So we've now got golden apples. I kind of forgot that they sell them in the other, sh in the gold shop, villager shop that the server has. Uh, but I got some insta health potions as well. So, uh, yep, nothing sold there. But never mind, I'm actually really happy. I've actually sold some terracotta. I, I am so happy. I have so much of that stuff. It's not even funny. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I am really happy with that. And we are now, it's night time already. Yay. Um, uh, Haver is putting some beacons around uh, the, the corner here. I did uh, do a little bit of grinding on stream for a beacon yesterday. So um, because they, the beams are kind of like by her shop, I didn't want to disturb anything. So I've given her the beacon and because I was just going to add to the beacon that was here already. Uh, and she's putting more beacons in, so I'm assuming another one is going there somewhere. Um, so I've given her the beacon and some iron towards uh, building one. Um, so hopefully we shall have speed too, because it was painful when you were going like I'm when used to like my base. We like you know I'm sprinting around with speed two on, and then you get here and you're like, oh my god, this is like so slow. I kept having, I kept checking my FPS, wondering why it was like everything was running so slow, and it wasn't even that. It's just I didn't have haste to on it. So um, I am going to actually head over to the mountain and show you what we've been up to there. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. So here we are back at the mountain. As you can see, I have actually managed to get some work done. So this uh, actually a lot more hours has gone into this <laughs> than it looks. Um, I basically started doing this bottom layer here 
just to get the uh, start of the pattern that I could follow going round. And the amount of slimes that were generating here was absolutely ridiculous. It was it was just incessant. I could place like two blocks, and then I'd be attacked by a slime. Get rid of that, attack another, and it would. It was at a point where even like flooding the area with iron golems, they were just. I did try, and there were so many slimes they were just killing the iron golems so quickly. Um, it just it was just proving pointless. So I had to go back and basically slab the. So all of this is bottom slab. I had to slab all of this whilst being attacked by the slime. So again, that was placing a couple of slabs at a time, and then like running over to another corner that what didn't have any slimes in it, and then do a couple of sl some slabs over there. And then when they started following me over there, I'd run over there, and it was just just constant. It took me hours to do all of that. Uh, but then it did finally clear the way that I could actually start doing the wall of the build. So this is what I've got so far. Uh, Mad Teapot very kindly um, uh, made the comment that I looks like I'm building the world's largest bathroom. So thanks for that. I didn't actually occur to me when I was doing this color scheme. I just really like the... Um, you know the the color scheme with the I, I could have used quartz but honestly quartz would have been so ridiculously expensive to do um even with like the 10 masons that i've got i to get the amount of uh, i would have required would have been ridiculous uh whereas i do have four chests of diorite so um don't tell escal don't 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 tell escal <laughs> I know he hates the stuff with the passion, and yeah, just just. Shh. I know he has no idea who I am. I know he has no idea about the channel or anything else. But just in case one of you does, don't don't just don't leave me alone. <laughs> don't tell him. I don't want him coming on here and just no. I know, I know he's not going to. But do you know what I mean? It's just one of them things that I've I dread it if for somehow he manages to catch it and then goes like, "What the hell are you doing?" Anyway. Um, so yeah, so we, uh, this is what I'm the part of the main project I'm doing. Like I said, this is only a very, well, I say very small part. It's a very large part, but it's only part of a ongoing plan that I'm going to have. So, uh, I do need to get all of these walls done before I can proceed with the next step, which is there is actually going to be a build inside here, like in the middle. Um, um, once I've kind of finished these walls, that will kind of be the end of the, uh, content for this particular area for a good while because this project is actually top secret and I don't want any of the other Zankarians to know I have asked them not to look at it on Dynamap or come over here and have a nose I do want it to be secret because I do have a really big fun cool idea it's going to take a lot of work um, like I said like just doing this this bit is probably the most grindy bit I was getting all of this done um, then hopefully we'll have some fun with the build uh, that's going in here and then there's going to be other things happening as well so I'll leave it at that for now but yeah this is going to be me for a while um, I've got some I've, I've got a relatively good amount of uh, prismarine um, I mean all of that I've done I think I've used maybe a shulk maybe two shulk boxes so far um, so we'll see how we get on with this and then I'll probably have to go back and do a bit of AFKing at uh, Skunky's Guardian Farm but yeah so this is what I'm going to be doing for a while um, so I guess hopefully next time you see me the walls will at least be mostly done oh not to forget I actually plan on using uh, prismarine, uh, prismarine brick and diorite steps to do all around the outside as well this this isn't going to stay like this um it's all it's all going to be that like all of that including this floor here all all of this is all getting converted into that and it may look like a lot but once uh, you know the other stuff goes in around it it will kind of, hopefully it will kind of make sense if it's it looks like what it looks like in my head it uh, might be really cool i may i may actually use a different set of bricks possibly do the outside steps i'm now i'm saying it doing the steps in the prismarine brick and die i don't know if that will be a little bit much um i've kind of got in my head now that teapot kept calling it a giant b day um which if you don't know what it is google it and then you'll kind of know what i mean um so i don't know if i might change the color palette for the outside i'm just trying to think of what would actually go with it i'll have to have a think about it that's that's a long way off anyway because i've got all of these walls to do so uh, i'm gonna crack on with that and we'll see you guys later on all right guys uh, a long time a few headaches and a bit of uh, cross-eyed going later and we are finally done well we're done with that particular bit anyway and yeah i am quite pleased with how it's 
um, turned out. Um, it is very much like one of them puzzles that if you stare at it, it'll. Uh, you're supposed to see a pattern coming out. I have been checking it as I've been going round, and as far as I can tell, I seem to have gotten away without placing a single block, and this is usually where I find one um, out of place. But it looks pretty cool. So obviously this isn't going to stay like this. This is all going to be changing down here. Um, but I have had, and I was kind of, um, I was going to put steps up on this bit here. Uh, on this ring going round and because you know these colors are a little bit dull and the whole point of this place is it's going to be really bright and colorful so um i was kind of looking at all the different stair palettes and there wasn't really anything there i mean if you could make stairs out of concrete that would be great not that i'm you know hinting at anything at all mojang it's not like you know your concrete's been in the game for ages and you couldn't possibly make you know stairs and slabs and walls out of concrete of different colors just saying um yeah so i've had an idea of what i'm going to try and do with this outer edge and see how that works so as you can see i have all my shulker boxes prepared and this is going to be another slog as i need to go around the edge all the way around on each of the steps and go round and round and round but hopefully it won't be as bad as just get it. i've only got to do one pallet at a time so i haven't got to keep switching backwards and forth too which was kind of what was a bit of a pain with that um but yeah so that's what is next on the horizon so uh yeah i, yeah, I guess more block placing yay <laughs> see you later Alrighty, guys uh many many days have passed and many many hours have passed since the end of the last clip i have done uh, i think one stream um or have I? I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it's been it's been a long few days. Um, I've not had a lot of sleep. Uh, Matthew has been getting some really bad heat rash and uh, eczema of uh, like ex like skin condition of a night. Um, so yeah, he's been keeping us up a lot because it's been really upsetting him and keeping him awake. So um, I yeah, it's been, it's been a long while, uh, but I have managed to get quite a bit done and if you can see what's that over there through the trees so we are actually over by the portal um where we have the uh had the we're actually obviously still in the gold rush area uh i apologize for any screaming in the background obviously the kids are going nuts still um but yeah so i've made kind of this little station um all nice and bright and colorful <laughs> yeah you're going to be surprised so this is actually the monorail to get us to where we need to be obviously i appreciate there's flying and everyone is flying but i really really wanted to build them i love building um rail lines i don't know why it, i find it most enjoyable and i like kind of you know just chilling out and sort of like looking at scenery on the way past rather than flying so yeah so i've done a monorail that goes from that portal pretty much all the way to the mountain so we're just going to have a little bit of a chill and check out the scenery on the way past uh, this took quite a while done. This is like seven or eight stacks of rails, I think. Um, so yeah, this this took a significant period of time. Obviously, I had to plan out where I wanted the route as well. Um, but all will become clear when we get there. Obviously, this is this is still only the very early part of the build uh, process of what I've got in mind. Uh, there is a lot more work to be done, but and this will probably be the last video you see because. The rest of it now is well. I actually say I don't know. I've got a lot of clearing to do. I've got even more um, stuff to do. But you'll see what we do. So as we come here, we actually come into the mountain, and thus the colour all begins. So as you can see, things have changed a lot since you guys were last here. And as we have a little spin round, a little thing you a little uh, thing you can see. Obviously, I've colour blocked all up there. And I, there's a nice glass tunnel. There's a double helix of sea lanterns around there. And yeah, this I've been putting this. This grey still isn't staying there. Don't panic. It's uh, you know I'm not leaving it grey because that would be just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I've done a nice uh, sort of glass tube. And you know there's a double helix of uh, sea lanterns going through the middle and walls. But obviously, as you can see, a lot here has changed. And we've got a nice staircase now that travels all the way up here. So we go all the way up there and then we go in through here where there's more colour. 
and this is as far as I've got. Now I'm basically uh, level. A lot of this needs to lower. I've got to lower quite a lot of this. I'm not going to lower it all the way down. I don't think I am going to have sort of some height differences, but a lot of this uh, needs to come down at least probably to where that brown line is, maybe a little bit further. I don't know yet. I haven't quite. It's obviously, all the building materials I've been shifting backwards and forwards, and this is kind of just like a, a thing that I've been using to. Um, sort of dump everything that i've been clearing so as you can see i've made a bit of a start but yeah so if we get up on high and get ourselves a nice little vantage point as you can see there is a lot of color here there's there's loads and loads of concrete there's loads and loads of sea lanterns and i think i quite like the uh red nether brick as the sort of contrast for you know just to add a little bit of splash of color on the walls um i did i was actually going to like glass tube uh, this all the way around but basically what was happening was because it was only one block wide and especially going through all like the little twisty curly, bit, curly bits the outer walls of the glass were uh, slowing the minecart down to the point that even though it was on a downhill slope it really wasn't going very fast um, so yeah we didn't um, so I had to scrap that idea and I didn't actually realize that until I'd done both sides all the way up to the top and then I had to tear it all back down again um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with this. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice little sort of colour tube sort of spinning all the way around. I'm really trying to push myself and, you know, do different colour. Why is that a different colour? What? Why? What? Why? 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 Oh, right now. Okay, now I've got to go and find some concrete in the, in the shulker monster that's down here. Um, oh, no. There we go. Found it. That's fine. Right, I'm going to change that now. Otherwise, I'll, com I'll keep thinking about it. So. And one, two, three. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really pushing myself with this build to you know do try and do a lot of things that I haven't done before. Um, obviously, I haven't done anything on this scale like with the digging out and and all the rest of it. So I'm really pushing it and like with the detail with the staircases and and the sort of like trying to do um, you know like the stripes with the glass and like the double helix especially was quite difficult for me because it was you know I couldn't um, you know it's quite hard for me sometimes to sort of picture where i've got to put the next block in order for it to work into the sequence some people find it really easy uh me not so much so anyway um what's going on at the moment is i'm actually starting to clear so all of this um as you can see i've got four beacons up so this entire mountain here uh, so all of that all of that that sent a bit there and all of this all need to lower right the way down uh, before i can carry on with the next stage of project so uh yeah so there's a lot of clearing to do um so i may give you some updates on that because you know this none of this is actually still spoiling the idea of what i've actually got in mind um but yeah so apart from that that is all the time we have got for today guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to leave a like please don't forget to subscribe um and yeah we'll see you next week and hopefully we've made some progress i uh next episode i am going to be definitely building a silo uh, somewhere on the base. I know I have the smas, but unfortunately, terracotta wise, the smas is full. Uh, I've actually got sort of three or four double chests just like laying around up there that um, that are full of terracotta. Um, so I am going to build like a big storage silo that I'm just going to um, have like uh, loads of stuff like the terra, you know, the o massive overflow like dirt and terracotta and cobblestone and stuff like that that I've got absolutely tons full. The smas is absolutely full. Uh, so that is going to be the next plan. So that will be in the next episode. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. And as for me, I'm out, guys. Hope you're all safe. Hope you're all well. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See you later. Bye-bye.